Hello and welcome back to the Schmuseum, where today we have our first visitors from the automotive YouTube space, Seen Through Glass and Supercars of London, two old friends in the car tuber world who are coming down today with some of their cars to visit the Schmuseum for the first time. Now we've also got this up and running, the SeaTech Charge Storm connected to, the Taycan is charging. I'll show you a little bit more about how all of that works as well. We got the right breakers and bits and pieces to get it all hooked up. And we've got a few more things that I've brought in as well earlier today to run through very quickly before the guys get here and we can show them around. At the last update, we were installing, thanks to our partners at SeaTech, the Charge Storm Connected to EV Charger to be the solution to all of the problems that I have had living with my first electric car, the woes of relying upon the UK's charging infrastructure, thanks to not having an ability to charge at home. And it has been safe to say immensely frustrating, but nonetheless, we now have the solution. So come on through and I'll show you what we've got here. We were waiting for a circuit breaker to arrive. To get this connected to the distribution board, three phase supply, which means it's a 22 kilowatt charger. You can actually charge two cars at the same time, which is very convenient, a little bit of future proofing here. And you can see you've got the green icon, which is of course waiting for something to be plugged in. We've got the gently pulsing blue battery icon telling us that this side is charging and it will go solid when it's completed. So what we've got here then is a type two cable, a couple of those that we've got from SeaTech, plenty long enough that's plugged in to the charging port on this side of the car. Now the Taycan has these charging ports on both sides, but you can only use one of them at a time. You press the button and it turns off, but we're plugged in, we're charging and inside here, just to show you very quickly, if we press this button, Hit the charging screen, we're up to 75%, charging at 0.4 miles per minute, 10.1 kilowatts at the moment. So a couple of hours to go to get that to 100%. Effectively, the whole battery can charge in about nine hours. Now the Taycan by default has the 11 kilowatt charger. There is an optional upgrade to have a 22 kilowatt charger, but I didn't spec this car from new and frustratingly it doesn't have it. So it could have halved the time down to about four and a half hours. If you think about it during a full working day or overnight, that's from empty to full. Problem solved, game changer. All of a sudden the EV is much more usable. The guys are here coming straight on in then. We've got Sam and his new F-Type car convertible. Hi, hi, hi. Good to see you. Nice well, to see you. Thank you so much. Well, welcome, welcome. Hey. I feel a bit like the one thing you driving it like this. Yeah, where do you want to park? Well, you tell me. He's, he's got a whole space to himself. We've got Paul in the old 35. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Been a while. It's been a while. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you feel it? Like <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, welcome. Thank you so much, this is so cool. You know what, it looks really different from the videos. Yeah? Yeah, I think it looks different. You mean different. aside from the fact that the walls are a different colour? Oh, maybe that would be <laughs> Were they green before? No, they were like this pale blue. They were, they were very shmee blue. Smell the paint. It does smell the paint. It's, it's bigger, better lit. I don't know, is this different to... It's dropping its face. It's a big space. And this is the start, right? This is already, like, you've, you might have seen the picture on it. Before. Mm. But to get to this has already been like uh, mad. Even in the last 10 days, the number of things we've done in the last 10 days. How we've got a charger. You, how hands on have you been with the painting? <laughs> I don't know. Appreciate the things we've been doing. <laughs> I've been moving my cars around and photographing them. I've got CCTV cameras running. I did all the software. Oh, oh I know why he's going to plug some things in. I know why he's going to museums for that electric charge point. Just so he can So finally, he can charge the tiger. Gone are the electric charging ones. <laughs> now the, the kind of funny thing is that we did have everything on that wall, right back to the wall, in a straight line. And it made, it, it, the cars are so small and it, it made the whole space really weird. So they're actually about two or three meters in. You could park other cars down the back. But I was gonna say, cause you're building out like an office bit, right? As yes, well, so like that's gonna be here. That's gonna be here. Yeah, so down here, you're gonna come in and then there's gonna is be- Is this your CCTV wiring? <laughs> <laughs> that's not impressive. 
we have to wait until the office is in because it's going to move. It's going to move slightly. So you'll, you'll come into a reception room, then we'll have a nice fancy office here, glass walls, we'll keep the F type part right in the middle. Because, you know, really, 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 really. I mean, we've completely ruined this. We've come in, you put one in the middle, and I've just dumped mine in the corner. <laughs> So, you want us gone already? <laughs> so, 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 the first visitors and the last. Yeah. yeah, there we go. The doors are never opening again. <laughs> end, end game. Yeah, right, okay, then, so office building here. Then up, upstairs, we have some games, you know, Hot Wheels, toys, bits and pieces. Never growing up. Over there is the I stash of Lego and model cars and things. And basically, the bomb site of um, stuff from storage that we've kind of uploaded for the time being. Super cool. But yeah. It's so exciting. Does it feel. Does it feel exciting or daunting now you're here? It feels huge. Yeah. It feels like a gigantic garage. Um, I knew it would be because I started looking for something about half the size of this. I started looking for something as a <laughs> store. your cars are fit. Right? <laughs> 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 you don't have to part them diagonally and spaced out like that. But the I fun thing. I've seen all the plates together. Yeah, I've the seen plates together. Together. So the cars cool. individually. Or like 50% of the yeah. cars individually, but to see them all together with all of the plates. That's a good point. It is, uh, and all the colours. And all the colours. This is just strange to me. I've never had all the cars. Yeah. I've never, had, I've never had this many of my cars in one place. Oh, what's is there anything missing at the moment? The SLS. Oh yeah. Back very soon. Okay. It's been really frustrating. Needed a new part. Parts, anything involving electrical chips, is majorly back orders and probably no new car supplies. Haven't been able to get the part. Four months later, it looks like it's about to arrive. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I want that car back. I want it back. People think I've sold it. I have not sold the SLS Black Series. And you can then, tell off camera with so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the truth, guys. Don't worry. Uh, the GT500 is in Miami. Is that coming over? Eventually. Amazing. Oh, no, no. Will it be on an English plate? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Because um, I saw there was one at Goodwood in the, for a fresh day ride a couple of months ago. And I was like, oh, but that's, that's kind of Tim. That's a non carbon fiber track pack. Okay. Doesn't have carbon fiber or wing. Disgusting. That would be quite nice for GTR. No, that would be fun. Uh, I'd like to think just to make sure, so highly. Just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere near crowds. <laughs> of course. Mustang. It must have. Um, <laughs> and then, um, and then, um, a little birdie says the GT Black series might be like. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. did you want know actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What cars do you have? What cars are coming? Do you want to see a picture of it? Yeah, oh please! <laughs> Is that going to be off camera? That'll be off camera. <laughs> STO? Oh, yeah. I'm here for the land. Uh, later in the year. Okay. For Christmas. Christmas still like, oh, okay. Never How are you going to heat this place? place? Lambo are great for just delivering cars in the, su in the winter. They're like, they'll, they'll launch a car at the beginning of the year. We'll deliver them in the summer. Ah, oh, no, we shut, we shut the factory down in the summer, so yeah. it'll be in November. Yeah. <laughs> July, July and August is closed. Yeah, so, it's amazing. Yeah, but the good ones are the ones being built. So, insulated roof, insulated walls. Okay. Even when it's been warm, it's not got particularly warm in here. We're hoping it will keep some warmth in the winter, but worst case, obviously, the office. I think it'll be freezing. The office being enclosed yeah. will... Well, you've Just, had that experience. I don't speak for someone who has a, a room this big. STGHQ. <laughs> has been known to get a little bit chilly. I mean, there was a point where both Tony and I were in about 15 layers doing the podcast, <laughs> and you could see our breath and be like, oh, so this week on Car News. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like the shortest episode ever, as you're desperate to get out of there. There are vlogs on my channel where you can see me filming with, with breath pouring out of my mouth. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so I, I, you need to heat this place. I'm just telling I you that now. Even, you're fine when you're filming the cars, but in the office. Yeah, even, even when I came here, because I found this at the end of last year, um, December time, even then, when it was open at the back and open at the front, because it was milking part of the state, even then it was significantly warmer inside than outside. I'm not going to say it was warm, sure. but even in December it wasn't freezing, okay. and now it's sealed. So, and we've got a few more. Can days. you imagine Tim letting this place get cold? I was going to say no. <laughs> My cars <laughs> must be as warm as I am. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We'll just have to run them all. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I, can't, I, can't, I can't afford the radiators. So. <laughs> Jackets it is. <laughs> Super cool. Well, yeah, mega impressive. What's your what's your timeline then? I think this is the fun, right? So, for a long time prior to now, I was thinking, do we get to this and it's already finished and it's just boom, here it is, done. It would look magnificent, mm. but everything would have been completed. And then I thought, the fun for me is to bring everyone along for this. So it's going to take twelve months. It's not going to happen overnight. Right? Putting well, especially with getting steel from mezzanine. Putting that stuff up will take the next three or four or five months. Then filling everything, going through the boxes and memorabilia and stuff, and making sculptures and art pieces and artworks. And I got some awesome things. I mean, you guys do as well. We accumulate going to so many events and stuff. 
There's so many Not things. Not the McLaren models. <laughs> Not the McLaren models. <laughs> I have so many McLaren models. <laughs> That's like literally you turn up at like just a McLaren dealership and like, oh sir, oh, would you like a 143 scale? Which had a car you're visiting that day. Exactly that. Yeah, there's a lot of that. But okay, so you're in basically you're in no rush. Absolutely no rush. It's I think that's hard. It's, cool. it's, it's, it's it's just a cool project, and I think if you start rushing it, yeah, you yeah. see what happens with grand designs when you start rushing projects. <laughs> the roof comes down. But this is the other thing. If I had already done it, there would be no margin for changing anything. Yeah. Done. Doing this has meant that everyone has proposed or suggested ideas of what we should do, yeah. some of which we're now going to bring in and do. Especially if it's free. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to be honest, I haven't thought of a jacuzzi, but if you're offering one... <laughs> a jacuzzi and a sauna? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Suddenly we'll get installed. Uh, but no, but I guess you, the, you've done the main job, which is have all your cars in one place, right? Because yeah. that was, for me, was the exhilarating... I have two cars. Uh, but having them... You have more than two I do have more than two <laughs> Trying to play it down. I've always got my cars in the same place, because I've got one. <laughs> But that was it, being able to be in a place where you could have all the cars, and you could do all the things, that changes the way you could go about filming. Yes, yes. So, no. it's a completely different space. Like, the thing with this is if we decide today we actually want to display everything in a different way, mm. we just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just jump in the cars, grab the keys, one single bag with all of them at the moment, just move everything out, shuffle it around, and jobs are good. And if you want to start up the GTA and make a lot of noise, you do it. You don't have to go yeah, anywhere, you know? yeah. That's your video, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, that that. Video. We've got a few cars with exhaust. What do we have? We've got the JCR on the GT4. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing that because I had uh, contacts down at JZM message me the day that you arrived. Oh, really? Going, it's, it's here. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Any um, plans to do an exhaust on the M3? I don't really think so. It's still it's, it's, it's still it's a daily car. Yeah. It's not like, it's not the same thing. The Miltech on the Aris sounds all right. The G has the Akrapovich. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's I've got ridiculous. Quite a to go now. Obviously, the GTA is nothing, but ridiculous. The Ford GT has the Akrapovich as well. Probably the weakest, the weakest sound I've ever heard here is probably the Senna. I'm not even more so than the LT. No, the, the, the LT. Oh, wait, wait. The Taycan. Have you heard the sports sound on the Taycan? The Taycan is not going to win Paul's export. Ex, 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 Exhaust expert. Yeah. It's not going to win that. Well, I mean, I no, might the... dab some sound over it. <laughs> some Aventadors. <laughs> it's not like an opera or soundtrack. Yeah. 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 Like in photos, like it kind of is like, oh, well, it's just an MG GT. But actually, here in the flesh, like the presence it has. You're right, they're cool cars. It is so but I think cool. the, the GTR in general is just in the cool the series, isn't it? Like, Big time. I've, I've loved them and I know, I know it's dumb to have two cars that are so similar and the Black Series coming, but obviously the Pro will be part. But I've enjoyed driving them so much and between the three that I've had, I've done about 30,000 miles. So it's not like they haven't. Well, the, 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 you nearly sold that car to me when we did that Bentley event in Austria and we all flew there and you arrived late at night and you yes, drove in, GTR, in drove and in. you'd driven from yes. Germany like and I was like, Oh uh, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That car and it yeah. rumbled, and we all heard it come. We were seeing having trees. Like everyone heard it rolling. I was like, yeah, that's that's made that car suddenly very attractive. So the, the Pro though is a car that I think a lot of people don't fully understand because it it comes across as just a more expensive GTR mm. with the same power. Mm. Like, what's the point? But then you see it, you start noticing things like the more aggression that you have in the front yeah, splitter, yeah, the, yeah. the louvers over the arches. Well, it feels like it sits better as well. Yeah. A few unique touches about it. I think in the future that will be quite a special car mm, yeah. because it's often the case the things that people don't understand at the time are the things that sure, in the future. Yeah. Look at the Project 17. <laughs> yeah. Look at the Project 7. <laughs> still misunderstood, I would say. Still, still. <laughs> and it's been out long enough. <laughs> well, cool one car. day. It's a cool car. It's a very cool yeah, car. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's mega to see you. I think it's exciting for you. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, any plans to have a coffee station? <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I've got a lot of coffee drinker, I've got a coffee drinker, drink. drink. <laughs> but I did hear that there is a special scene through glass blend. There is well, terrible. Yeah. Oh, oh, terrible. terrible. <laughs> we did this whole trip, I was like, I was like, he hates coffee. So okay. I was like, you've got to at least I try I mine. I literally cannot smell it. And I was like, you've got to at least try mine. Like, I'll make it as sweet as possible, put chocolate in everything. He's like, okay, fine, I'll try it. I was like, really? He's like, yeah. He sits down, I'm filming it, going, if I can convert him, this will sell the coffee <laughs> right. And he takes one sip and basically throws up <laughs> in his own mouth. And I was like, 
Do you know why I leave this in the video? Is this the worst sales tactic ever? <laughs> the worst part of it all is obviously I've been with my girlfriend for 10 years and she always is like, just try it, just try it on loads of things. She watches the video of me trying to coffee, she's like, oh my god, to try coffee with salad. <laughs> oh, for 10 years I've been asking you to try yeah, coffee. Yeah, Anything well, I don't like. Well, like, maybe that's maybe that's my next video, getting Tim to try coffee on, on camera. I will have a reaction like Paul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it won't work. You never know, you haven't tried the see through glass bread. <laughs> it's even stronger than normal coffee. It, it doesn't taste <laughs> No, no, it's a very palatable taste. Okay. Palatable. Okay. I think that's the word. I don't know. I've made that Gents, it's been good to have you to visit. Thank you for having us. It's been so cool. Absolute pleasure. We've got the two cars lined up loads. Guys, if you want to know where this place is, head over to my Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. So, video's coming from Sam and from Paul. That does sound good. It sounds good. Come on. Come on! <laughs> what a car. And the colour spec. Oh, the spec is on point, but, you know. It's, it's not mine, but it means one day soon I'll be in All right, let me, let me head over there. Oh, Paul, oh, Paul. Right, let me get the shutter opened up. And the guys are going to be heading on out. Awesome. Great to have our first visitors, then, here. See you, Sam. See you later, Paul. Thanks for coming to visit. We are actually about to head out in the G63. Tom's going to get that started so that we can get on the road because we're going to go and pick up a couple of things to show you a little bit more what we're going to be doing with some other bits and pieces over that away. So this will always sound good. <laughs> never gets boring, never ever. And obviously a great wagon for transporting stuff, to be honest, that we need for this museum. The fun thing about this then is that this is one of the two locations where I've been storing bits and pieces. We have lots of random center parts, like obviously the rear quarter, the door, the wheel, which is one of the things we're gonna get, the wheel arch liner. We've got the stock GR Yaris exhaust um, and a whole load of Christmas decorations and a pile of wheels, which is the main thing that we've actually come for and will make more sense when we get it all back. So we need to load some of this stuff onto trolleys, take it to the G and take it back to the barn. Well, it's pouring with rain outside, but we have returned. Just pulling in the G63 to what is effectively the dirty parking area of this museum for the time being. Pop that inside, get the shutter closed on down. And yeah, it's nice that you don't hear the rain too much in here, but it would be nicer if it was sunny. We've unloaded the G. You might be able to hear there are lots of works going on outside, still more things being done, but good news on this front, Firstly, that we now have the solid blue light. The charger has done its job. The Taycan is at 100%. That is a blessing, a big, big blessing. The other thing I would like to talk about and what we have just been to collect are wheels. Now, what we have here are one of the rear wheels from the AMG GTR. That's a story for another day why I have a spare wheel from that car. Then we have the rear wheel from the Senna, which we replaced because it got this nick in that thing that happened two years ago or so and figured you don't refurbish a wheel like that. It needs a new one. So the car has a new wheel, still has the tire on it. But you will notice here, we're joined today by the guys from Bespoke Chargers who can effectively build an EV charger into a wheel type frame to use the rim as the way of storing the cable. So if you think about this, we could take one or both of these wheels over on the wall here, alongside the charge storm connected to, mount up the wheel here and use it to wrap the cables around when they're not being used. A kind of cool paradox, really, of the car from the ultimate petrol car in the garage being used to store the cables for the EV. I think it's quite a fun idea. Maybe we're gonna be adding one of those with the center wheel, still with its little bit of damage as a memento, on the wheel over here, on the wheel, on the wall, the wheel on the wall over here. As well as the wheels, I also brought in a few other things earlier today. This cardboard box will go through another time. That is one of my favorite well, model cars ever, the Amalgam Senna. In this box is actually a very special Lego package. This is the Bugatti Chiron Lego Technic signed by the team from Bugatti and Lego. That is something very special. I've never opened the box. I think I'm gonna to have to keep that one safely closed and probably buy another one to actually make. Now, if we come back all the way through over here, something else we picked up talking on the subject of wheels are the original wheels from the Ford GT. Now, if you have a look at the car, 
It's currently wearing the BBS FIRs, of which they made a limited set, uh, obviously to commemorate the Le Mans race car, which wore effectively those wheels. But that meant that I had taken off the original ones. So we picked these back up, and I've not actually looked in these boxes since the day we packaged them up about two and a half years ago. And I'm hoping all is still well. But obviously these are the original wheels that came on my car. It was kind of crazy to see them again. They are a cool wheel design, but obviously the BBS ones are significantly lighter. In fact, those wheels are as light as the carbon fiber option wheel that you could have from factory on the Ford GT. If you take the total weight of all four, they are almost identical overall, which is really quite incredible. Anyway, it's another late evening. That seems to be becoming a bit of a trend when we're around here, but we do have a lot going on, keeping very busy, getting it all sorted out. And it's great to just make some progress really and start, as I said before, making everything a bit more inhabitable, a bit more usable, things like the charger for the Taycan with SeaTech, and of course, browsing through eBay to work out what things we're gonna be adding next in terms of the memorabilia to really transform this even further. And even some of the materials, building supplies, equipment we need, all of that side of things. And yeah, it's just a really exciting adventure. So thank you all for being part of it. This is starting to transform into something very special, but that is it for now. Thank you as always for watching. Make sure to stay tuned. There's a lot more to come.